today I am going to do a tutorial on my curly hair. Now, of course, this is not um, my actual natural curly hair. I actually have a curly hair routine. That's in one of my first dish videos. I think it's like my third video or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, if you want to see that, you can go to clip that. But I'm going to show you how I curl my hair with a straightening iron. This is a Paul Brown, uh, it says Hawaii, but okay. Paul Brown Hawaii, but it's Paul Brown straightener. It's a one inch. It says the model number is, let me find it. Model GTF2100. I will put a link to this straightener in the down bar. Um, I do, I sometimes, I think I messed up in the video. Um, I, like, some of the curls don't come out right, so I have to do them twice or three times to get them right. Um, I am not that good at explaining it, so I think I'm going to put some voiceover, if I can learn how to do it on my computer, I'll put some voiceover in it to make it sound, like, make it more, um, so I explain it better. So, yeah. Um... Just be prepared when I switch over to the video. My hair is really poofy, so just be prepared for that because that's what happens to curly hair when you blow dry it. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so this is my natural hair blow dried. I know it's kind of crazy, but I'm going to comb it with like just a wide tooth kind of comb. Okay, I'm going to straighten it a little bit. So I straightened it out a little bit. And now I'm going to section it off with my comb. I'm going to go down where my part is. And bring it to the back. I actually like to put this in a ponytail. Well, a pigtail, I guess. So. Just keeps it away from the back so it doesn't get all mixed in. Okay. I'm trying to get this if you can see it. Comb this up some more. I'm gonna section it from way behind here. I'm going little pieces. I just have this much hair. I'm gonna take all of this. Twist it. Get these little clippy things <laughs> and clip that up. Brush it out again. And I'm going to take. Now, with straightening hair, I'm usually not really that careful. I just keep on straightening and straightening and straightening. It's like a squeeze chair. <laughs> um, but this, I really have to get like one piece at a time. So I actually pin this up too with another clip. Okay. So I have about um inch and a half, two inches of hair. <coughs> and I'm going to start at the roots, go uh, straighten it down, twist my hair over, and just roll it I have this weirdo curl that I missed some hair right here. So I'm going to go over it one more time. Straighten it down. Curl it at the ends. And I have this. It's a very it's like Shirley Temple kind of curl. Um, I'm going to take the next piece of hair. I'm going to divide this into two. Pin this up. Take that piece. Pull it to the back. Now I'm going to switch. So, I did it. Oh, wait, did I do it? Oh my god. I actually forgot which way I did. 
I'm gonna go. So I think what I did was I went this way and I turned this way. So now I'm gonna take my straightener. I'm gonna flip it and make a C. So it'll be like underneath. And I'm gonna flip it this way. I think that's what I just did. Mm. Let's see. This curl. That way. Oh no, they're, they're different, they're different. So this one now goes this way, while the other one went this way. So, they're different. And this is so they just don't combine and create one big curl. If you want that, you can do that and just do it all the same way. But I want them to be separated. So you're going to take this piece of hair and you're going to lay your iron flat. You're going to st straighten it down, flip your hair, the little piece of hair over, and you're going to twist the iron until that piece of hair is flat facing the ground. And you get a curl. I'll example that again. That's really confusing. So just section off your hair and pin the rest of the hair up and you're going to separate it until you get probably the best amount would be an inch of hair. Like this. Okay. So now you're going to flip your iron like a C. So you're basically flipping it upside down. Start at the roots of your hair, straighten down, now flip the remaining hair over, and see that remaining hair, how it's facing, like, down towards the ground. And you're just going to pull the iron down, and then you get a curl. Okay. And I'm going to take that next piece of hair. Okay, grab your next piece of hair, probably about an inch. And you're going to now switch off with the next curl. And you're just going to lay the iron flat, flip the hair over, and twist. The only difference between these two curls is one, you flip the iron like a C, and one you just leave flat. One of these curls turns towards the right, and one of these curls t turns towards the left. So that's the difference between the two ways you can do these curls. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my hair. my left side and I wanted to leave my bangs alone because I will do something with them in the end so right now I'm just gonna do the left side and I will come back really soon when I'm done okay so I just got done with the other side and now for my bangs I just need to grab all of them straighten And I'm gonna curl the end just so they're going that way. You can also pull these back if you want. You could do a poof, that's a really bad poof. Um, <laughs> let's see. So you're gonna take your hair and you're gonna use the flat iron to curl your bangs away from your face. So it gets a slight curl at the end. If you need to play with your hair, do it a couple times, whatever you need to get the perfect look for you. 
just like that. And now, to get it really volumized, I'm going to use hairspray. My friend, um, my friend Kimmy taught me this. I would normally use this. It's Try Design Convert Control Hairspray. But that's out. So I guess I'm going to use this. I don't know. Um, Osis Plus. Osis Plus. Freeze Fix. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know what this is. Flip my hair over and spray it all over. Okay, now you're gonna shake, kind of like shake it around. Pull it up. And you got a lot of volume. You can spray down your bangs. Do any flyaways. Get it kind of volumized. upside down one more time and just kind of shake it there you go got some bun loose-ish curls let me turn on the back so you can see watching this tutorial and if you have any suggestions um for the, any of my tutorials if you have any um the criticism that's like good like not positive criticism what am i thinking but anyways um leave me comments below saying if you like this look if you think i should change something if you have any suggestions or anything um so Thanks for watching this tutorial. I will. I'm sorry I haven't been posting that many tutorials um, or videos in a little bit, but I will have more up soon. Okay, bye.